trust me this could save your life literally okay so ensure you do this hey you hey 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 what's popping <laughs> welcome back to my channel so before we go on i'd like to introduce you guys to someone so this is oh my god i won't even lie i don't have a name for him um, on today's video i'll be talking about how to get good grades as good grades what's that about how to get good grades as an international student because the challenges that we have are peculiar to us and you might be asking what gives me the right to talk about getting good grades for god's sake you don't know my grades that's the same thing i'm wondering so if you think this video is not for you please shift clear road there are people behind you that need to see this video clearly thank you i believe that some of the points i have to share will be beneficial to a couple of people maybe not everyone but it's beneficial to a couple of people from the thumbnail you can see that i said you don't have to read well that is true all of the things i'm going to mention in this video do not um, require reading it might be implied but i won't say it is my mouth that you have to read it might be implied okay so let's get right into the video the very first thing is to drop whatever mindset you came to the uk with you might come here with the mindset of oh studying in the uk is going to be very difficult or studying in the uk is going to be very easy whatever mindset it is you need to trash it okay just come here with an open mind just come here not having any expectations i would actually say that don't have any expectations so that if it's hard when you come here you're like oh yeah you're not really expecting much so it's hard you're gonna walk up to it and if it's easy you're like oh this seems easy and then you're enjoying it so my point is just don't have any mindset don't expect it to be too easy don't expect it to be too hard to study in the uk just come with an open mind a mind that wants to learn the second thing is to make up for your lapses make up for your lapses <laughs> so you need to make up for any knowledge gaps you might be having you might need to do a lot of catching up on your own so you are at the same level at the same pace with the class a lot of times before you start your studies um your department will send you background reading material i'm not sure if this happens in every school in the uk but that was what happened to me when i was coming here i got background reading material but your girl I did not read it because it was a lot of things to read and i'm like yo i've not even started school can we wait till i start school then i'll start reading don't be like me if you have background reading material make sure you go through them this will just ensure that you're like at the at the pace of the class or you're on the same level with the lecturer so when you're talking you're not like what's going on you don't want that so ensure you make up for any knowledge gaps catch up where you have to okay <laughs> The third is to attend lectures and actually listen. Attending lectures is one thing, listening is another thing. These are two separate things, don't get it mixed up. You might be in class and not be listening, okay? But if you're like me, where sometimes you literally just zone out of the class, like you're in class, but your mind is out of the class, mostly because the lecturer is speaking too fast or the lecturer's accent is too heavy for you to comprehend what they are saying per time, please, be like me okay or be like yourself or whatever i don't know point is get your phone and record it's something i do a lot so i just put my phone on record and it records whatever the lecturer is saying because sometimes they are speaking so fast i can't really comprehend then later on when, when i play it i can always pause it rewind it you know and all of that so i control the pace for myself so you might want to do that record lectures when it's really difficult for you to understand what they are saying the fourth thing is you paid a lot of school fees you paid a lot to be here so you need to make the most of it ask questions where you don't understand drop your pride don't feel like oh nobody's asking questions so if you ask questions it's going to be like you're the only one that don't know truth is you don't know it so please ask questions you paid a lot like you paid a whole lot to study in the uk so please ask those questions you came here to learn and you learn by asking questions when you don't understand feel free raise your hands ask those questions okay also make use of contact hours so contact hours at the time where your lecturer is like they have an open window where they see students interact with students and clarify certain things if there's anything you don't understand even after they answer your question use your contact hours go to your lecturers go to their office talk to them send them emails maximize these things please you paid for it maximize it okay the fifth is you should try and discover your study technique and stick to it 
sticking to it is the main thing because sometimes you feel like oh let you need to do this you need to do that. especially when you're watching a lot of youtube videos on how to study how to do better it's really important that you find your own study technique or what works for you and stick to it in the comment section let me know what's that study technique that has worked for you over the years or a study technique you use drop it down in the comment section and i want to read it so drop it drop it drop it drop it okay for example when i started studying i was always studying in my room but then i noticed i wasn't doing as much like every now and then i would stand up from the chair and lie down on my bed and next thing you know i'm sleeping or i'm watching netflix you know that trap so i decided one day to go to the library and i realized i studied longer in the library i got to think about it and then i realized the chairs in the library were more comfortable for me so the chair in my room was hurting my back that's why i always stood up to go to my bed because my back was hurting so whenever i needed to do something that was like very very serious or i needed like to put in my total focus course i go to the library another thing i started doing was i started listening to white noise when i'm reading so white noise are sounds like maybe forest sounds you know you hear you know insects chirping animals and all of that or maybe still waters or rain falling like heavy rain so these are what they call white noise when i listen to white noise and i'm in the library like i'm just going on a steady like for hours so you need to find your study technique and stick to it make it work for you okay the sixth point is i won't say you should not procrastinate because the truth is you're going to procrastinate okay but when you are procrastinating use sense use wisdom to procrastinate like i said before you paid a lot to be here you did not pay all that money to come here and not maximize your time okay so procrastinate with wisdom if your assignment is due tomorrow you shouldn't start the assignment today to submit tomorrow like don't allow your village people to be playing konlo on your head you paid a lot oh god I, I don't know why i can't stop saying you paid a lot to be here because you actually paid a lot to be here even if you procrastinate procrastinate with wisdom i wouldn't say much on this because i believe you understand what i'm saying okay seventh point is learn how to use microsoft word for long documents you're going to write a couple of reports it depends on your course but i know you would write at least one report you need to learn how to use microsoft word or google docs or microsoft word preferably to write documents to edit documents you need to know how to use automatic um, table of contents you need to know how to use section headings you need to know how to use um, referencing oh this is the baba one this is the baba of the baba you need to know how to use referencing okay in text citation bibliography that is at the end you need to know your referencing properly when i started my course in september my school has like different training sessions for students so you can catch up so they had like microsoft word for long documents training microsoft excel they had microsoft powerpoint i went for microsoft word because i felt i could do better and then when i went to the class i realized wow there's so many things so many hacks i could easily do on microsoft word which i did not know about so you might want to find those kind of trainings in your school and attend them another training i attended was how to reference different courses and different schools use different referencing styles so you want to ensure that you're using the right one for your department the eighth point is to have a calendar or a planner okay so this is a calendar it's a table calendar that i put on the top of my table and i look at it every single day so it's really important you have this so you can always picture what is next and you can always look at what's the next deadline for example let me show you what's on mine you can see start dmt 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 means disaster management techniques so it was an assignment i had that was due on the 23rd and i said okay i'm gonna start here 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 by i give myself a week to do it and then here is for project analysis so basically my dissertation i've been working on it then this was the date it was due this is june and i was able to submit so my point is having a calendar like this or a planner like this just helps you you can see i use it a lot just helps you know what's coming up next and so you don't say oh i did not know that the deadline was close you need to ensure you're looking at <laughs> all the deadlines part-time um if if you don't have like if you're not like me who likes to do things the old school way which is using a paper calendar you might want to use an e-calendar so maybe the calendar on your phone and then you always put whatever submission dates is coming up next trust me this could save your life literally okay so ensure you do this the ninth point is to ensure your similarity score is always less than 20 percent okay so when you submit your assignment there's uh there are different softwares softwares what's the plural of software i think it's software it's not softwares okay there's this software that grades your paper with other 
papers on the internet so basically if there's any similarity to tell you oh this paper is 80 percent similar that means 80 percent of that work is not yours or if it says 20 percent similarity it means 20 percent is not yours but 80 percent is yours you get it so you want to ensure your similarity score whenever you write a report or whenever you submit it is always less than 20 percent and the trick to this is also learning how to reference properly a lot of times why the similarity score tends to be high is most students just copy what was said in an article and paste it and then cite that person why you think that works it doesn't because it will still rank all those words as similar like literally you're saying word like verbatim i mean a verbatim you're saying it exactly word for word as the person said it you don't want to do that you need to learn how to rephrase sentences okay learn to rephrase so for example the title of my video is how to get good grades as an international student you can rephrase it and say this is how international students can get good grades do you get it so you need to learn how to rephrase sentences so that your similarity score is always like below 20 percent that's the safe zone the last point is literally what i did now stay hydrated and take deep breaths okay you have a long year of study ahead of you and if you're an undergrad you have like three years of study ahead of you you need to take it jelly, jelly okay jelly, jelly so <laughs> stay hydrated drink lots of water take in a lot of fresh air go outside don't just stay in your room and study all the time because you want to get the best grade in the world go outside and take fresh air in what i go and also if you're ever frustrated with your scores or you're ever frustrated with academics this is what i would advise you do take a very very long walk okay this works trust me it works so take a long walk for like two hours and just come back to the house and rest and then try again why <laughs> the reason i advise this is when you take long walks it just clears your head and then you're able to see things like you view the scenery you take in fresh air you see people on the street you know it just helps you process all that frustration or all that feeling that you have all right so we've come to the end of this video if you like this video don't forget thumbs up thumbs up so other people can see it and please of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so much for being a part of my community this community is growing we need it to grow more so please hit the subscribe button you understand me yeah <laughs> all right guys <laughs> till next time